The differences in public land and private land hunting when it comes to all this pre-hunt research are massive. On a lot of the public lands, there's a day it opens and everybody heads out into the field. Some of them are, you know, you can't leave a, a stand up for any extended period of time. Guys are bringing in saddles to sit on. They're bringing in uh, blinds that they can haul up and down real quick. Sometimes it's tree climbers. Sometimes they're just building a ground blind on the, on the ground. And when you get into that type of public land hunting, and I grew up doing this a lot in southern Oklahoma. I mean, we would you know, try to find how to get off the beaten path, how to get back in the backwoods, how to get behind the sloughs that were there, how to get in the backs of the creeks and things where we felt like we had the best chance to get a deer. Don't know what the 14 year old Wade would have done if he'd have killed a, a big monster back then because there would have been no way I could have got it out. But I was always enamored by the thought of getting way back in the brush like that. Now, flipping to the private land aspect, you've got a chance to manage your property and distinctly let some deer get a little older. You've got a chance to build food sources on those. You've got a chance to create feeding programs. You've got a chance to create habitat to hold those deer, to give you a better chance at them. Each one of those types of hunting styles are uniquely different and fun to go do, but they require a different set of plans, a different set of strategies, and a different set of even goals a lot of times. When it comes to the public land hunter and the private land hunter, it's awesome that everybody wants to go hunting. And so when you get a chance to go hunt, your goals and your dreams and your expectations have to match some of that. Hey, some of the biggest deer I've ever seen in my life, I was duck hunting and they were swimming in sloughs or coming down to water while we were down there duck hunting all on public land. And then conversely, on private land, you need to understand what the limitations are to the areas that you're hunting. What is a trophy there? What meets the minimum harvest criteria? And establish and set realistic goals so that when you find success, whether it's shooting a spike, whether it's shooting a doe, or whether it's shooting the buck of a lifetime, everybody's excited about it. And if they're not excited about it, they're not generally the people I want to be around when it comes time to go hunting.